Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a major backstage update as it concerns the future of Triple H's in-ring return. Is the WWE getting desperate enough to the point where they need Triple H back in the ring on a daily basis? Or is it going to be a part-time? Or is it going to be one-time? What's the deal? What is the WWE concocting? What about Survivor Series? Is Triple H going to be putting on the boots again? Well, according to an update... Depending on what route the WWE decides to go in come Survivor Series on the WWE Network, there is speculation that Team Authority could see Triple H put back on the boots to compete in the match on the night versus Team Cena. This way, Triple H's uh, time in the ring would be limited and he would not have to do much and obviously he wouldn't have to worry about substantial injury. However, many may remember, and I brought this up on Show Entertainment, I reported it, I gave my view of it, that Triple H was booked to wrestle this year against Roman Reigns on pay-per-view. But for whatever reason, WWE decided to not go in that route. It should be noted that a variety of different matches are being discussed for Triple H at WrestleMania 31 next year at current time. More details as it becomes known on that situation. But yet, here's another update as it concerns, concerns Team Cena and Team Authority. At last check, WWE was tossing around two ideas for the Survivor Series elimination match. One being four versus four or five versus five. But as always, WWE can change their mind. This is not confirmed and should only be taken as a rumor that Triple H's full-time wrestling career is all but finished. However, if WWE ever got that desperate and absolutely needed uh, Triple H on a full-time basis... They could do that, but only if things ever got to that point. And you know what? It may very well get to that point, ladies and gentlemen. Because you know what? The WWE has been asked backwards. They've been mediocre. Now, I'll give it to them. The Hell in the Cell was a good pay-per-view. The Raw after was a good pay-per-view. But can the WWE keep that up? Can they sustain that momentum? Can the WWE ride that wave and make things and turn it into a positive? This has been a horrible year for the WWE as it concerns injuries, losing a ton of money. The WWE Network is not what they expected it to be. They didn't reach the subscriber amount. Like I said, you know, when, when WWE is backed into a corner, that's almost when they do their best. But you know what? WWE is screaming desperation right now. And for Triple H to have to get back into the ring on a full-time basis, knowing the role that he is in right now and, and, and uh, the role that he takes and all the work that comes along with it, for Triple H to be having to compete as a full-time wrestler, I just don't see that happening. Even as bad as things could get, there's no way Triple H has time for it. There's no, there's no way he could work the live events. Maybe if Triple H wants to become the WWE Champion again, that could be another instance. Because remember, the Raw after WrestleMania, Triple H was going to go against Daniel Bryan for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So, I mean, stranger things have happened. I mean, Triple H may have to pick up that ball and he may have to run with it for a little while, but... I only see Triple H wrestling a couple of times a year, if that. I see him wrestling just about as much times as The Undertaker wrestles. Okay, so maybe a little bit more than The Undertaker. But only if things got that bad. Do you think it's ever going to get that bad that Triple H is going to have to return uh, full-time to the ring? Who knows? Your comments, your opinions. Subscribe.